Perfect. Thank you, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to our November 2021 Zoom meeting. And uh, we'll get started here so we can get through and get to our presentation. All right, our financials, our operating account, 9911, savings is 17,533 or 553, PayPal, 1692. Our self insurance is up to $13,080. Our convention fund sits at 4212 for a total of $46,528. Our net monthly this month was 5178, and our net year to date is 11211. Um, donations are the same as the last meeting because they do it quarterly. So Amazon Smile is $177. Our members have donated $6,157. The PayPal Giving Fund has donated $72 for a total of $6,406. Our membership, this is from the live stats. Tony uh, fixed the page, so... I'm much appreciative because it was broken there for a while. We have 477 SNARS members. Way to go, everyone. 314 of us are ARRL members. We have 15 new members and we have 45 volunteer examiners. Um, and just a quick shout out, uh, Crystal Rhodes took over a year ago as the volunteer examiner coordinator. I think she's been doing a heck of a job and we, uh, We've been able to get uh, examinations done even during COVID. Uh, we had people who drove from really far away in order to have an examination in the middle of a snowstorm in a park out in Sp Spanish Springs. And uh, I guess we're the only ones doing it. So kudos to her. And everyone who uh, goes out and, and uh, works with Crystal to, to do the examinations. And as always, our uh, live stats are right there at the uh, membership stats link. Club business announcements. Um, like I said in the newsletter, we've gotten our storage shed moved and that's really handy. Uh, I appreciate everyone who's had a piece of that. I figure when we need more room, I, I have the understanding that, uh, that John in seven JDM storage sheds right behind us and all we have to do is cut a hole. So we can just start to fill his up from the back. Um, but the new storage shed is uh, out in Spanish Springs and it's a little more money, but it's a much, much nicer shed and it's much larger. Um, the, we purchased some shelving units and now uh, you go in and you don't have to empty the shed to find something. It's, it's very well organized and it's nice. It's, it really is nice. Um, a reminder, this now is really easy for people who want to check out our loaner equipment can do that. There's quite a bit of stuff and and uh, Eric is the one who does, handles all of our equipment. It is on the member page. You're able to uh, request it and check it out. Uh, it's there as a benefit for, for our members, everybody. So if you want to try a radio, you want to try, uh, there's some antennas that Chameleon has donated. There's, uh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. We have an a, a, a antenna analyzer. We've got a bunch, of, a bunch of things in there that are really useful. There's even some DMR HTs. Um, so that's my announcement. Barry, do you have anything? Oh, sorry, I caught you eating something. My apologies. No, no worries. Um, I'll just say uh, thank you. I'll just mention uh, many of you were involved with the Scouts in October. And there's a great article uh, that several people, several of us put together in the Cracklin Static. So shout out to uh, uh, the people that came up west, KG7 QS, QXZ, came up to Dog Valley in early October. Uh, big shout out to Jim, um, KJ7 JXC, who's a Cub Master. He came up to Dog Valley and also out a week later to uh, the uh, Cub Scout location in uh, in South Reno. And then uh, we had Roz, AE6WT, who came to the local church. And also a Tim, I think it's KM6YMK. And then all the people that got on the air and spoke to them. It was a fantastic, fantastic thing. We had over 70 people come out of about 150 kids and 20, 25 adults up at... Uh, up at Dog Valley for Joda, 
put about 40 of them or more on the air um, on different bands, HF and DMR and, and um, um, analog. We had 15 kids uh, down at the other location with uh, Roz and uh, Tim. And then we had another 25 or so come through um, for the Cubs. Uh, there's some adults that want to get their license, <clears throat> some adults that had their license, some adults that <laughs> have their license and were there. So it was it was a big bang for the for the effort. So uh, congratulations to the club and we'll be doing more. OK, that's all I have for now. All right. Thank you, Barry. And thank you, everybody. Um, anytime we can reach out and, and uh, get some interest in the hobby try and keep people uh, engaged and bring in new blood. That's always a good thing. So uh, much appreciated. All right, um, the board of directors election. Uh, I believe our nominations have closed. It sounds like we've got a pretty good list. You'll be receiving your election runner emails. Um, make sure that you, uh, that you do vote. It's a really simple procedure. If you haven't already, if this is your first time, um, it is not difficult. You click the link and uh, depending on what web browser you have, it'll either automatically take you in to do to cast your vote um, or it will have you put the ID and the one time voting code in there. If anything happens while you're voting until you actually submit your ballot, you can actually go back at a later time or restart your computer and try again. It will let you vote um up until the point where you actually cast your ballot once you cast your ballot it will say uh it will say you know this is your final time and then it won't let you access it again after that so if you uh if you do that just keep it in mind if you have any questions uh, plenty of us have used election runner before uh anybody will be uh, willing to give you a hand just give a shout out um do we have any other announcements before I kick it open for general comments? Any board members, any club officers have an announcement? Barry, one follow up about a question on the board on the elections. Um, do we know when the um, the people running for the board need to get their picture and bio to uh, to Tony or to whoever? It's snars at snars I don't see Tony on here. Is he here? Because that I don't. He's not on. Oh, crud. Well, I will have to get that back to everybody. I know Tony sends them an email and asks for the bio. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, any other comments from board members, club officers, before I kick it open to everybody for, for your comments? I set it up so if we have any board members or officers or volunteers like Kim and membership or anybody, they can just open their mic and just give you a call sign. You're not hearing anything yet, John. Okay, then would you make it so we can have anyone uh, open up for comments, please, Barry? Thank you. Sure. Just give your call sign if you have anything you want to share so we can acknowledge you and then we'll just run it kind of like a net. <laughs> It's set up. All you have to do is unmute yourself if you have any comments or questions. It's open right now for everybody. This is KG Seven QXZ. Wes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, just want to let people know that we're still looking for. We do have a new operator as KB Seven uh, QOD uh, Kirk. Uh, you probably heard him on Tuesdays. Um, and then also we're looking for uh, another uh, full time or a backup. Um, uh, Operator, so if you're interested, uh, let us know. Call, to get hold of me, get hold of Barry. Uh, it's uh, simple. You hear us on the air, so just jump in there. So we'll send you the information you need, uh, or whatever. Or just uh, go to snars.org, kg7qxc snars.org, or um, uh, Barry at uh, a rl k six sd at a rl dot uh, net, and um, let us know. You know, and we'll get back to you. It's Wes. Appreciate yeah. it. And that's for the SNARS new net, which is Monday through Friday for anybody that's new. Monday through Friday um, at 12 noon, and uh, we get a, a nice turnout. And thanks to all the net controllers. Okay, Wes, super. Anybody else have any comments? Just unmute yourself. Oh, 
I'm sure we have another comment or question from somebody in the in the uh, in the club. <clears throat> also, welcome guests today. We I know we have several guests, so um, great to have you on today. We have these meetings uh, uh, the first uh, the Saturday of each month. Question came up uh, recently of, of when are we going back to uh, in person, and it's the standard answer: it's a pandemic and a um, breakfast um, in person. Um, issues. So um, as of right now, just assume everything's on Zoom until you hear a different question or a different answer. Okay. Anybody else um, have any comments? Please give your call sign. Yeah. I was going to comment on the net control operator situation. You know, we used to have it seven days a week. And due to the lack of net control operators, it had to be trimmed down to Monday through Friday it would be nice to get back to seven days a week and, you know, get the whole operation going again. It was like that for so many years, but with all the ham operators that are around here, I don't know why we can't fill the, 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 the seven day a week group. Uh, that, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. I mean, at least we, we got QOD in there for, for Tuesday. Brian is still there. I don't know what happened to what, what, what's her name, uh, Jody, uh, Dodie uh, from Truckee. She disappeared, but uh, gosh, they, they come and go. There have been so many ham operators that have been net control operators. And now we're just struggling just to stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way I feel. Comment. You got it, Wes. Yes. Yeah, it's KG7 QXC Net Control Manager. We've tried this seven days a week. The weekends is the biggest problem. This is we can't keep people in there because people, you know, they work or they do something and they want to meet up with their friends who's still working or whatever. And uh, we can't keep them in there. They want to go do something on the weekends. We decided a long time ago, and I got the blessing from the board at that time, to go five days a week. We haven't had a problem since then. Saturdays, Saturdays and uh, Saturday and Sunday is the problem. And we're not, I'm not gonna go through that. So it's gonna be a five day a week until I retire or someone else takes over and changes it. Simple as that. It's not because we don't have lack of enthusiasm, it's because it's Saturday and Sunday. We, this is a volunteer operation. I'm not gonna hang around and make sure things work in all, all, for seven days a week. So it's simple as that, I mean, that's, what are you going to do? You know, the other nets are all one day's a week. Ours is five days a week. And that's enough. Weekends off. Everybody. So that's about it. Back to, back to you, Barry. KG7QXC. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not on the radio, but back to you, Barry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, uh, Wes. Thank you, Jim, for your, uh, for your comment. Any other um, questions, comments? Uh, we got another minute or two or three um, before we get to the presentation. Any, anything else from uh, anybody? Just unmute yourself and give your call sign. Oh, I wanted to thank everybody, um, N7ROJ. I wanted to thank everybody that uh, came out and uh, participated in the great test equipment giveaway. Um, if you didn't catch it on Telegram or on one of the nets, Washoe County years ago had access to the DRMO, which is the government and military reuse. Uh, what they do is when they're done with equipment, they send it out to the DRMO office and organizations that are authorized can draw upon that. And the way it works is you have to, you have to register for the pallet of stuff. That's the smallest amount. So if you want something the size of a, uh, like a radio, let's say, something the size of a shoe box, you have to take the whole pallet. Well, we had a supervisor at Washoe County in the communications division who was an amateur. He was um, ex-Air Force Signals Intelligence and he worked for the NSA for a long time. And he found this and went sort of well crazy on ordering the things he wanted and he didn't quite realize that a pallet came with everything so washoe county wound up for years and years in possession of a whole lot of really good and some you know other used test equipment 
and it came from NASA, NASA JPL. It came from the military. It came from some of the uh, some of the uh, uh, military organizations that do things like radar analysis, radar cross section, space communications. There was there was just a ton of test equipment. Um, and rather than e-waste it, fast forward a few years, we now have to get rid of the leftovers. Um, rather than e-waste it, I was authorized to do a giant giveaway. And last Saturday, uh, it was amazing the number of people who showed up. And and uh, all, all the only requirement was I needed the serial number off of the thing. We had uh, barcodes for our inventory tracking system, but it, we gave away a ton of stuff. And and there were probably 30 people that showed up and and uh, it was in a giant 45 foot Connex box. Uh, we could only get one door open. We didn't have keys for the end doors and everyone dug their way through and worked together to dig out and pick up the test equipment. And, and uh, I believe we lost about eight tons worth of stuff that went home in people's cars. So thank you again, everybody. Uh, I would much rather see it go to a good home, someone who thinks they need it, someone who wants it. I know, uh, oh, not Pike. Everyone knows him on uh, on uh, Telegram as not Pike, and I can't remember his call. Uh, he got in there and grabbed a bunch of stuff for the for the maker space, and had a great time. So it's uh, it's a good thing that we were able to get all of that going. So everyone who assisted with that and made it so we're not throwing away some good but old test equipment. Thank you very much. Uh, it was it was good. I, I think we're gonna e-waste a couple of broken pieces and the rest of it'll be gone. So thanks. Yeah, really good, John. And you know, I wanna give a plug for our Telegram because I think that's the main way it got, it got communicated, isn't that correct? Through that's Telegram. correct. Tel Telegram is, pretty, is really nice. So yeah, go ahead and and yeah, uh, give a plug I'll for just it. give a, a quick plug. Um, so for those that you may, may or may not know, on the SNARS website, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, the second to the last line, like in a footer, it says Sierra Nevada Amateur Radio Society. Uh, and then there's like five links. One of them is says watch video, which is the YouTube link. Well, about what YouTube channel, about the fourth one over out of five, second to the right, on the far right. Um, it's this Telegram. So Telegram's a chat system, kind of like, completely different, but kind of like a Facebook Messenger, or a, you know, a, 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 a texting channel. And uh, what you do is you register and get a Telegram account. You hook it up, tie it, you don't tie it, but you identify through your telephone number. And then you download an app and it goes on every kind of device. And then there's these channels or these threads. And one of them is the SNARS one. That's the one that when you go to the bottom right, Telegram, um, you can connect. It's a great, excuse me, I get a sneeze. <laughs> it's a great system. Not everybody's on it. It's free. And uh, it's just a great way to communicate. Somebody the other day, so that's how John um, said, hey, this is what we're doing. Who wants to come? Um, Somebody the other day, speaking of Telegram, asked a question. I don't know if he's a, I don't know if he's a, uh, I think he's new in the area. A couple of people asked a question. How do I find somebody to help me with, and then fill out the blank, a certain radio, or they want to do soda or whatever. So that's just one of the best places because they can chat back and forth. Anything you want to add to that, uh, John? Because I know you use it in different areas too. Yeah, Telegram is really nice. Number one, it's not tied to anybody's, um, it's not tied to Facebook. You're not going to, if you talk about antennas uh, and you say the word antenna three times, you're not going to wind up with every time you're online, you're going to have a bunch of advertisement for antennas. It's a, a lot better for privacy. The channels are very nice. Um, we have some of them like the repeater status channel. It's an announcement channel only. So there are certain people who can leave messages but you don't have to worry about people, you know, sitting there and listening to us chat about something. There's a tech issues channel that's very good. We have the one for the board. We have one for the technical committee. Um, so it's it's very nice. The other thing that's good is that if we share video, if we share a file, if you send pictures, those are actually stored forever. 
um, you can go back if you go up into the into the description for the channel you can hit that and it will show you who the members are and then it will also let you see all of the files that have ever been posted all the pictures and you can go through and see those uh, so it's it's really cool for that so if you say oh i remember the other day uh you know we were talking about something or another and someone posted a schematic let's say you can actually yeah, up to years later as long as the channel has existed you can go in there and see what those documents were and it's fully searchable so it's 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 very useful um i can't tell you how many times i've had to go back and search to get you know find something that i needed that was discussed in the past or while i was working or something like that so it is it is really handy um there are a lot of us on there the snars group is pretty chatty uh, we have some like the repeater status that are announcement only. Um, the tech group is fun for having, you know, you have a technical question and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to tie up the main SNARS channel. You can uh, you can jump over in there and talk about it. And it's it's really useful. Um, it handles any kind of media. You can actually send voice messages. Uh, like I said, you can send video and files and links and all of that and and they're stored. So it's it's useful for that so that's all i have and if you have any questions feel free to feel free to contact myself or barry or any of the board members we're all on telegram and everyone's uh, everyone's pretty good at using it great a great a great tool and again the way you find it is you go to the snars.org webpage go all the way to the bottom and there's a little footer and the second of the last line uh, on the right hand side as telegram well, John, thank you for that. Thanks for everybody today. One final comment, um, I think, is all I have, and that is um, if you have any questions for the club, um, anything, anything from membership to how do you do such and such, and you don't know how to reach anybody, um, you can send an email, snars at snars.org, which is the email address that comes that you see in the um, Crackling Static. Um, and the announcements and it goes to the board and a bunch of the other people that are um, helping out volunteering and if you want to volunteer um, we can use more help so you can always send an email there john i think we're ready for the presentation how about you you done yeah. i am done i've got just one more thing actually um as always i want to say thank you to everyone who volunteers but this is a really big thank you to Barry. He, uh, Barry and, and Doug Edmundo, who backs him up, uh, are the one that make it so this all works. While I use uh, Zoom every single day, I am by no means an administrator. Um, Barry does this for a living. He uses it as a tool for his, for his business. And he, you know, mixes business and pleasure and makes sure that our Zoom meetings go off well. And when he's busy, Doug, like I said, Doug backs him up. So I, I want it. I really want to say thank you because it this wouldn't happen without those guys keeping it going. I, I like, like I said, I'm a Zoom user, but by no means do I uh, do I have the ability to pull one of these together and run it. So thank you very much, Barry, and thank you very much, Doug. We, you're both more appreciated than you know. And with that, I will give it to Barry to do our presentation and hand it off to him and I'll stop sharing my screen. Okay, on behalf of uh, Doug and myself, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we both have skills and it's our pleasure to uh, to help that out. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the recording. This ends the SNARS uh, November 6, 2021 meeting and I'll stop recording. We'll start the next one for the presentation. <laughs>